Hey everybody, uh, my name is Joe and I'm a teacher at Obama Academy and I've been asked to tell you guys a story about water and um, you know sort of maybe like uh, you know like a vacation I took or something like that. Here's here's sort of the, uh, the, the thing about that. I don't have a lot of great water stories. I don't. Uh, I learned to swim at my community swimming pool. Uh, it was sort of a weird thing. Took swim lessons when I was a kid. In order to pass like the lesson, you always had to go off like the high dive. I don't know why that was had, it had nothing to do with swimming. It was just like a way to torture kids. So that's just uh, how that that went. Um, so so that's how I learned. But I thought about what do I what do I tell you guys about what what sort of what sort of water story could I tell you guys about? And I came up with. Uh, this idea and this idea is I'm a big comic book fan and uh, I wanted to tell you about one of my favorite uh, comic book characters and that is Aquaman, okay? Now I know a lot of you are saying who likes Aquaman that much? Me, okay? I've liked Aquaman since I was a little kid uh, However, it wasn't cool to like Aquaman until recently until Jason Momoa made this movie uh, a couple of years ago so I'm gonna tell you about the character guys hopefully get you interested in it and uh and if you have any questions, you can email me and, and we can talk about Aquaman. We can talk about the uh, the world's greatest water superhero. Okay, so a little history for Aquaman. Aquaman is created in 1940. He appears in this comic book called More Fun Comics. And um, he was just a guy. Uh, they didn't really go into his origins at the time. He was a guy in this orange and, and green outfit who, who saved people from shipwrecks and stuff like that and fought like sea pirates. So cool guy. And, and his origin developed over the years. And they added new characters into his, uh, into his mythos. And so this is basically what Aquaman looked like from 1940 until the 1990s, all right? Sort of a regular dude with a with an orange and green outfit, okay? Um, these Aquaman stories weren't necessarily like big sellers. They appeared in more fun comics, and he didn't have his own comic book until um, until 1960, and uh, that is that's uh, right here, guys. This is Aquaman number one. Okay, uh, you can see it was it was twelve cents. Uh, that's uh, that's pretty crazy. So uh, yeah, so he had his own comic starting in nineteen sixty, and it would go off and on in popularity um, until until the the nineteen nineties. Um, what was cool about Aquaman uh, in in the nineteen fifties, they decided to give all superheroes basically a sidekick, and the reason they did that uh, is, is is communism. We can talk about that later. Uh, but anyway, Aquaman got Aqualad. As his sidekick all right now um, if you are at the pool and you see anybody wearing these shorts you go to the other side of the pool okay it's just a rule just a rule kids okay so Aquaman and Aqualad that's his that's his buddy um, but in the 1960s Aquaman becomes uh, sort of really popular um, this is a, a, a kids book from the 1960s uh, Aquaman and Scourge of the Sea um, also, too, he had uh, one of the reasons for his popularity and the main reason for his popularity, he had his own cartoon on. It was the Superman Aquaman Hour, all right, where uh, Aquaman and Aqualad and uh, their seahorses, Storm and Imp, uh, would do all sorts of adventures on TV. And so this was on every Saturday morning and kids loved it, okay? Um, and so Aquaman went in and out of popularity. He is one of the founding members of the Justice League. Now, this is the first appearance of the Justice League in uh, Brave and the Bold, guys. Uh, there is Aquaman right there on Star of the Conqueror. Now, I know you're saying, I know Justice League was a movie, sort of weird a couple years ago. Uh, not that good. That's that's not 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 true. Uh, but the original Justice League, guys, is the first superhero team, and it has Superman, Batman, and Wonder Woman are the heads of it, and they're sort of off to the side. But we also have like Flash. Uh, there's Wonder Woman there, Green Lantern, and Martian Manhunter, as well as Aquaman. And so it was an interesting concept where you put all these heroes together, and they had to fight uh, sort of major threats. This is Star of the Conqueror and mind controlling, you know, uh, starfish from from outer space. Go with it. Okay, so Aquaman, guys, had, had gone in and out of popularity for years. Most older people know him uh, to look like this. Again, he's riding on a big seahorse, and they did put uh, some of that in this new movie. But um, in the 80s, they, they sort of uh, changed up comics in general, made them more adult. 
uh, and they changed the look of Aquaman. He began to look like this in the 1980s, uh, just for a, a four-issue miniseries of Peter David miniseries. Very, very good. Um, if, if you ever get a chance and you're looking for something to read, the Aquaman comics from this time are, are pretty darn good. But they put him in this camouflage suit, so this is a poster from that. Um, but then in the 90s, they decided to to try to make him hip. They tried to make all the superheroes sort of hip in the 90s. They gave Superman long hair. Uh, Green Lantern became like a young artist, uh, and they did this to Aquaman. He had his hand chopped off, and he had a, a hook put on his hand. Uh, and so he has a beard now, long hair, and a hook. And he stayed like this for over 20 years. And basically, if you look behind him, uh, the Jason Momoa uh, character of Aquaman is pretty close to this. Um, so it's a mix of the old and the new. But but this is sort of a interesting uh, look at the character. Um, but Aquaman 2, guys, they also made a television pilot uh, which which never went into production uh and and again you know him from the justice league which by the way the snyder cut is coming out in december uh you can check that out on hbo plus and then uh aquaman uh the uh the movie which was uh, one of the biggest movies of uh, two years ago so that's a little a little history of the aquaman uh the, uh, the, the, the characters uh, from the film and the characters that you guys could become familiar with if you look at these comics. Uh, first of all, you have Aquaman, who is a half-breed son of the land. His father is Tom Curry, uh, a guy that lives in Maine. He's a lighthouse keeper, and his mother is uh, Princess Atlanta, who is the uh, queen of Atlantis. And so they meet accidentally and uh, fall in love and have Aquaman. So he is of both worlds, which is a really cool cool storyline. Um, and then there is his uh, his advisor, Volko, Willem Dafoe. Do you guys have a Willem Dafoe action figure? You should. Okay. Uh, we also have um, Black Manta, who is his big bad in the comics. Black Manta is really cool for a couple different reasons. First of all, this is the coolest bad guy outfit ever. It just is. Uh, but uh, in the comic books in the 1970s, Black Manta had existed since the 60s. He takes off his helmet, and you find out that Black Manta is actually an African-American character. Uh, he is our first African-American supervillain. Pretty cool. Uh, also, too, his half-brother Orm, who wants to be uh, king of Atlantis and king of the world, and has to fight Aquaman because he's not necessarily the best guy. And probably the most powerful person in Aquaman's... Um, uh, group of friends and allies this is mira who is his wife in uh, in the comics and um there's a really uh, great storyline with with mira, a bunch of them but uh, probably more powerful than aquaman so uh that's my little rundown on aquaman guys sorry i don't have a great uh ocean story for you but uh that's my little aquaman rundown i hope you guys like it i hope you check out the movie i hope you check out the comics make sure you read this summer uh aquaman books are a great place to get started um there are lots of good ones you can check them out online uh guys uh have a good summer uh take care of yourselves